Look, guys, I just want to thank my teammates, especially my O-line. Uh, without them, this up. I want to thank everyone for showing up today. I want to take a moment to thank all the coaches who helped me along the way. Look, guys, I just want to thank my teammates, especially my O-line. Look, guys, I just want to thank my teammates, especially my O-line. Uh, without I want to take a moment to thank all the coaches who helped me along the way. It's because of... Hey, don't forget to thank your mom. Never forget to thank your mom. Mike, tell me where you're going to be signing. Actually, it's why I'm hiding in here. Well, I know you'll make the right choice. And if you need any advice, I'm always here. Okay, cool. Uh, thanks, man. Yeah, anytime. Actually, I've been meaning to run into you. Hello? Hello? Is he gonna be? Okay, okay. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Ready, set. Hot, hot. quarterback out. They're turning to a kid who's never taken a snap in college. Not one. Look, their game plan isn't complicated. Drop back, stand the field, and throw it to Isaiah Street. That's what got them to the college football playoff, and that's what's going to keep them in this game. Drop back, scan, and throw. We're not sure the new kid can do any of these things. Don't you think that's a little harsh, Nate? Four years ago, he was a five-star recruit. They had high hopes for this dude. I uh, does not see something right there. What happened to that trust? Coach, you want to see me? Come in. I want you to be the first to know that Marcus Washington decommitted last night. And he's coming here. What? That doesn't make any sense. You said I was going to be the starter. He's the number one recruit in the country, son. And there's no guarantees in college football. I'm sorry. I'm not going anywhere. Bring him in. I'll win the job. You'll see. If you're the coach, how do you let five-star talent waste away on the bench for this long? No, no, no. Better question is if you're a young five-star recruit, why do you stay with a coach that doesn't play you? Because he's got something to prove. And to who? To that coaching staff, man. I mean, the same group of guys who spent the last four years telling him you're not good enough, he's got to prove it to those guys. All right, gentlemen, like Coach and I always say, the second you step off this bus, you're on a business trip. We got a lot of work to do, so let's get to it. me, you're the guy to get it done. Hey, Jojo. <laughs> you lose weight. I did. Yes. <laughs> Glad you noticed. Hey, boy. Game day, baby. Game day. Get in there. Whoa, hey. whoa, whoa, whoa. The event staff is around the corner, you see. Mm -hmm. Hey, babe. Go on in there. Uh-huh. Uh, this is for players and coaches only.
That's me. That's you? Yeah. Well, I know who you are, but, uh, go ahead. I'm the quarterback. What? Yeah. Mm. Uh, excuse me. You're the quarterback, right? Yeah. Well, don't look so surprised. Uh, it's my job to know the roster. I'm... I'm Taylor Bennett. I'm working the sidelines tonight. Okay, cool. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Okay. Okay, I'm just going to record them. Okay. All right. So we all know your situation tonight, but we really don't know much about you as a quarterback. How would you describe your style of play? Oh, um, well, uh, oh, man. Hey, what's up, man? Well, I'm one of those guys who thrives in chaos, you know? Even when the pocket's collapsing, I can buy time and push the ball downfield. Okay. Now, how about your personality? Or better yet, how would your teammates describe you? How my teammates describe me? Yeah, were you intense, you were cutthroat, uh, a great leader, a jokester? Give me something. I guess you could say I always stay engaged with my teammates. As you go about the week, I want to make sure everyone's prepared and ready to do their job when we come there for game day. So a real team first, team player guy. Yeah, sure, you can say that. Yo, Taylor. Hey, can I borrow him for a second? Oh, yeah. Cool. Wait, hold up. You're a Heisman voter, right? Hey, I'm coming for that award next year. Look out for me. Oh, I will. Okay. <laughs> All right, listen. You ready, right? Yeah, man. Yeah? Because winning the national championship means everything to me. All right, I made a promise to my brother. And since I can't throw the ball to myself, we need to be on the same page, you feel me? I got you, man. Got you. All right.
easiest pitch and catch. And you do that tonight, and we move on. All right, I just thought to coach. He insists on going with a simplified game plan for you tonight. What do you think? Well, his thinking is we keep it simple, you don't get overwhelmed, and then we rely on the defense to do their part. Wait, hold on. This, this is a joke? All right, look, coach just wants to put him in the best position to succeed. No, this ain't high school ball, man. All right, this is the semifinals. If we go out there and simplify, they're going to destroy us. Well, this is crazy, right? Right? Agreed. Coach needs to wake up. I'm ready for this. Man, forget about him, man. Listen, I don't care how much you played. You're a leader on this team. Leaders, sometimes they have to do what's right, even if they don't like it. Got it, Coach. I got you. Yeah? The 2018 college football season has been a wild one, and we are now down to four as EA Sports is proud to welcome you to AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Tonight, it's the first of our college football Here playoff come, semifinal matchups as we'll see the LSU Tigers taking on the Texas Longhorns. What's up, bro? Good luck tonight. Thanks. Hey, man, don't listen to the critics. You got all the talent in the world. Just go out there and put on a show. Thanks. He's alive. All right, man. Hit me up when you get to the league. Yeah. For the right to play for a national championship next Monday night in Santa Clara, we are underway from Arlington in the national playoff semifinal. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. So here we go. His first collegiate snap as the Longhorns have the football first and 10. They will let him throw here on the very first play. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. Going up top. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. One thing I know from experience is that when the deep ball is thrown and you're the defender, You've got to fight that little bit of panic that emerges. You've got to play the ball really well. It's a 50-50 jump ball play. And guess what? They took a shot. How are you going to win it? And in this case, they managed to get it done. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. Okay, look at this. The punt team nowhere to be found. They're on the sidelines. Offense going to go for this on the opening drive. Buying time to his left. And this is incomplete. A surprising move here on the opening drive of the game. And the ball will go over on downs on the short side of the field. So they take a big, big chance here in their own territory. And do you think the coach may have some questions to answer? Yeah, and you know, normally we focus on the media, right? The social media barrage that he's going to get for this one. How about on his own sideline and in his locker room? Yeah. 
because I think the team's going to look at my like, coach. Well, why would we go for it there? I mean, no confidence in the defense. You don't like the punter. I mean, what's going on here? You want some explanations. No gain that time, and it leaves him with third and 11 coming up. Well, that didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just started in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. To throw is Thomas. And this is caught at the 8. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Here's a first and goal, LSU. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, he just a whole lot of guys. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. Scrimmage. Defense didn't budge on third down. Now, what are we going to see on fourth? We are soon to find out, but does this feel like old school football or what? Oh, right? yeah. This is an old fashioned goal line stand. I know what I would call on offense. I would go for it. And I want some type of a play where my quarterback has a chance to run it or throw it. I don't just want one static play. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. The Texas offense set to take over again. And on that last drive, went for it on fourth, turned it over. Well, good job by their defense, though. They held them to three, but this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here. because They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving them exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. There on third down. 57 yards. So finally completes his first pass. Credit the defense, though. They've been showing him some different looks, keeping him off balance. Yeah, I like, you. I like the observation that you had there because when you give up and it comes back and he starts to get into a nice little groove. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. And he is out of bounds, but first is starting to get really, really loud in here as this offense is on. And he will take this in for a Longhorn touchdown. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Longhorns have taken the early lead. When you give up a long touchdown drive, you're looking for a silver lining. In this case, it's the fact that your offense had a chance to rest, and now they can come out and feel charged up and ready to go. No problem there on the extra point. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. So now after the touchdown, the Longhorns get ready to kick it off. This fielded at the two. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. The offense for LSU back out there, ready to go. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you, you, you've described it. Not a... Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the defense will get their hands on it. Going the other way. With no Stop. running backs in the backfield to help pass protect, all the receivers in their patterns, it's going to be hot routes. If they sense a blitz or pressure on the quarterback, they've got to be prepared to break routes off early and get the football. In this case... Ah, never even had a chance. They popped the ball free in the backfield. The play began back at the 23, and they pick up 23. A good throw there, but boy, a tough situation for this offense, for this program, really. When you think about it, Marcus Washington, four-year starter, came in as a true freshman to lead this team. He's third all-time in passing yards in school history, second in touchdowns, twice in All-American, a Heisman finalist, all that stuff. Never missed a game in his college career, 53 starts, but now he sits and watches as his understudy for the last four years finally gets his shot in the leading role. 
Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. And one of the things that makes this play so difficult to defend is that it has so many options to it, and the quarterback has to go through them and fast. Do you hand it off inside? Do you keep it yourself? Do you pitch it to a trailing back? On this play, it's hard to say that he made the right decision because that play was swallowed up for no gain. And he will take this in for a Longhorn touchdown. A great effort there. Taking it in. And the Longhorns add on to that lead. See, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate, and oftentimes when you start counting receivers, that's exactly what you do. You start from the widest receiver, work your way inside. Who gets lost sometimes? The back in the backfield. That's exactly what happened there. And he got into the end zone. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The LSU offense about set to begin their next possession. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. And a loose football. And the defense says they have it. Yes, they've got it. Whenever I see a team turn it over on back-to-back -back drives, fumbles on their lap. he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Give him four on the ground there. They're now left with third and six. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. That is caught for a Longhorns touchdown. A 14-yard So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. Oh, did the kicking team get it? Yes. The onside kick go. works like a... Here we go. into the end zone for an LSU touchdown. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the hands team does its job. They're able to secure it. Thanks to, if you can believe it, six touchdown passes in the first college start for their senior quarterback. The Texas Longhorns are moving on to play for a national title on Monday, January the 7th. Proud of you. Thank you, sir. How's a gutsy performance out there tonight? 
He took us to a national championship, but nobody, and I mean nobody, expected you to. And for what it's worth, I'm really glad you stayed four years ago. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, baby, we going to the chip. Woo. <laughs> One more game, baby. We got this, man. Oh, yeah. Football is my life, man. But you got to stay grounded in what's important. So I got a little surprise for you. Isaiah! Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> M! Looking good, Emily. Oh, and I'm loving this hat. Thank you. Oh, absolutely. Is that magenta? Fuchsia? What color is that? <laughs> okay. Hey, I bet he'd probably be good at uh, off the board, huh? Yeah. But Emily has the best games. Okay. If you had a unicorn, would you want its mane to be purple or pink? Well... Hmm. Well, these are both tough, but good options. I'm gonna do pink, no question. Definitely pink. <laughs> pink, no question. Come on. <laughs> no, look. You see, look, you don't you don't pick from the options given. Alright, the game is in the name. Off the board. Uh, now nah, it's clicking. <laughs> okay, look, if I had a unicorn, I'd have a mane that matches its horn. Silver. Mm -hmm. I'd go with Onyx. Ah, uh, Onyx? <laughs> okay. I told you she's a pro. <laughs> hey, how are you? Todd Atwood. I'm Emily's dad. Hi. Can I talk to you for a second? She's too shy to ask, but. Emily wanted to know if you could do something for her in the national championship game. Yeah, of course, anything. She wanted you to throw three touchdowns. Three? I thought I said four. Four touchdowns? Ah. Uh, <laughs> is, is that okay? Well, four touchdowns is a lot. Uh, yeah, but how can you turn down this face? Look at that. But I'll see what I can do. Yes. Don't, don't worry. He'll do it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's great to see you again. Great to see you. It was nice to meet you, Emily. You too. All right. We're days away from the national championship game, and there is one big question on everyone's mind. Can lightning strike twice? Last week, we saw a quarterback with no game day experience lead his team to victory in the college football playoff semifinal. Kyle, is this kid good enough to win a championship? Nah, not, not at all. That's it? No, no not, that's no? it. But hold on. I don't think he has to be. And this, let me tell you what I mean. There is so much talent on that team on both sides of the ball. Manage the game. Don't make the big mistake. I think they have a real shot. I do. Kyle, we don't like managers of the game here at the table. Very boring, just like your shirt. I feel you, but I disagree. The team has a ton of talent. But they're going to need this dude to make some plays. They're not going to win if they hand the ball off 50 times. You two be nice. You, Peter Schrager, mm -hmm. do you think he'll rise to the challenge? I do, as, as long as the pressure doesn't get to him. Yeah, for real. He's about to feel that pressure. Listen, there's a lot of weight on this dude's shoulders right now. He wins this game, he punches his ticket to the NFL. He loses, and psh, we'll see, I guess. And then if you're a coach, how do you handle this? Mm. What do you say to a kid that has so much to lose on that field? Hey, can I talk to you a minute? Sure, coach. You know, I know it's hard to shut out all the noise. And it's a lot of pressure. The only thing that we can control is what's right in front of us. And what's right in front of us is a game of football. Same rules as always. So you gotta take a step back, right? You gotta breathe it in. You find a way to appreciate this moment, this, this time with your teammates, take in the crowd. Man, you do that, and, and everything gets real quiet. 
All right? So breathe. Take it in. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. I got you, Coach. Right. Yeah, thanks. Go. Yeah, yeah.